Hello, in this video I solve the first question of the problem set number 1. The question is, is the function d defined on r Cartesian product r to r defined by dx and y equals to x minus y squared a metric on r motivate your answer? The answer to this question is no. And to show that, I show that this uh, function does not satisfy the triangle inequality. So, for example, uh, I can choose x to be 4 and z to be 0 and y to be 2. These are three numbers in the set R, the set of real numbers. But now I want to show that this is not true, that dx and z, if I calculate dx and z, the answer becomes x minus z squared, but in this case I have chosen x to be 4, z to be 0, to power 2 is 16. But if I calculate dx and y plus d y and z, the first one is x minus y squared, the second one is y minus z squared. But with the choices of x, y, and z, the first one can be written as 4 minus 2 squared, and the second one can be written as 2 minus 0 squared. So the first one becomes simply 4, the second one also becomes 4, and the final answer is 8. So you see that this expression is equal to 8 for, of course, these choices, but dx and z is 16. And this is not the case that, so this is not less than or equal to dx and y plus dy and z. This one single example shows that this D does not satisfy the triangle inequality on R. So this cannot be a metric. It's also good to know that this function satisfies all other properties that you demand on a metric. For example, you can see that D, X and Y is always non-negative because that is the even power and the even power is at least zero. On the other hand you know that dxy equals to zero if and only if uh, x minus y squared is zero and this happens if and only if x is equal to y. So the second property of the metric is also satisfied here and finally, this metric is symmetric, because if I ask you what is dy in x, you can say that this is just simply y minus x squared, but you know that there is no difference between y minus x squared and x minus y squared. So you see the function proposed here satisfies the first three properties we demand for a metric, but not the last one. So this function cannot be a metric on R. I hope that this video was useful for you. Until the next video, be safe and goodbye. Thank you.